Welcome to a short pod podcast on Audacity. I'm going to show you the features of Audacity that you need to know about to be successful in the AP exam. So first of all, let's take a look at the buttons that control what you're doing. Here you have the pause button. Pressing that and then releasing it pauses recording and then continues recording. This is the play button. Right now I can't do anything with this button because I don't have a recording. This is the stop button. And then you have rewind and fast forward. So let's make a quick recording. Now you'll see while you're recording there should be some changes in this blue line. I'm going to press pause and it pauses the recording. Now, I actually am making a stereo recording. That is why I see two channels on here. That's important. It doesn't really matter for the exam whether you do a stereo or mono recording, but when both of them are identical, that means it's a stereo recording. If they are different, you are recording a mono sound soundtrack on top of another mono sound soundtrack. Now pause stops the recording and when I release the pause button I can continue recording. When I press stop I cannot continue recording. So if I press stop when they say press pause I've lost the first part of my recording. So I can rewind that recording and I can listen. Now, right here, sometimes a little bit of troubleshooting. When you don't hear anything, when it's not recording, you need to check that the correct microphone is being used. In this instance, I'm using a USB microphone, so that's what I want. I don't want the built-in microphone on the computer. This allows me to move between stereo and mono recording. Stereo is a slightly better quality, but for the purposes of the AP exam, it really doesn't matter. Other times that you you can't hear a recording, but the volume is on on the computer, well, it could be that you are not playing through the correct device. Again, I have a USB headset, so this is the correct headset. Once I've finished my recording and I'm happy with it, I click File and then I export the audio. And down here, I need to save it as an MP3 file. Just this selection. And then I give it a name. And really, the best choice is to save it to your desktop. That way, it's easy to find. Because once you've uploaded it to your classroom or wherever it's going to be uploaded to, it will be deleted. So the desktop is the easiest place to save a temporary file like this one. I click Save. Now, sometimes I get a warning. I click OK. It's going to ask me for the artist's name. You can put your name here or you can just leave it blank. On the exam, it may ask you to put your number here. It may not. I click OK. And now on my desktop, I have an MP3 file. To get rid of this recording, all you do is hit backspace and close out audacity. I don't need to save the changes. Once you've recorded your video, the next step is to upload it to your classroom so that the teacher can grade it. So you go to Office 365, you click on the purple classroom icon and it opens your assignments window. Make sure that you're in the correct assignment. Um, it's going to be for your Spanish language class and it'll have a due date and a due time. So you click on that assignment 
and then you add existing and I'm gonna add a file from my device from my desktop there's the file that I created I open that file and it uploads it to my classroom so that the teacher can actually see it to ensure that the teacher can see it you then have to click turn in say OK and that's it that's all you need to do the teacher can now see your audacity assignment